Good morning everyone. Welcome back to uh, our YouTube channel. And uh, today we're going to show you how to uh, dismantle and repair this uh, Robocoop stick mixer. Uh, Robocoop MP450 Combi Ultra. Okay. So this unit it is having problem with the uh, armature as it is getting hot so the unit is running but after some time it is overheating and creeping off the power so we have set this and uh, we found that the armature is uh, shorted okay so we will going to show you how to dismantle open and repair this uh, unit the Robocoop uh, stick mixer MP450 Combi Ultra okay so let us proceed now how to dismantle it so dismantling it we have to open first this cover and the other side cover okay so uh, make sure before you dismantle for safety purpose disconnect the power plug give me the power plug should be isolated disconnected before dismantling the machine okay so we will open this panel cover and this also to access the two bolts okay then if you want to uh, open or repair check the switch you have to remove all the covers here and unscrew the uh, screw and you can access the control panel okay so without further delay let us start dismantling this unit okay so simply lift this up and you can open the, the bent grill just like that and then using your uh, allen key see here Okay, so using uh, Torx, Torx 15, you can open the screws. So four screws you have to open, okay, on both sides. Torx 15, remember, the Torx 15 uh, screw. Other things that you need to do is always remember to put a marker okay. so when you fix it back you will know or you easily can assemble it on the same way as before so notice here I put one and here two so it cannot be altered okay After we remove four screws, now we can able to pull this out. Alright, so after pulling off, we have to disconnect the connectors here. Okay, and another connector here, so that we can detach the handle from the motor. Okay. So disconnect this and this. Okay, great. Okay. So you just simply have to pull it, pull it out. There is no lock. Okay. So now we disconnected four wire. Okay, these four wires are connected to here for the motor. Okay. So after uh, removing the uh, handle or the handle switch, we can disconnect the uh, motor from the uh, 
stick mix up for the neck. Okay, so as you see, this is only connected from this shafting to this gearing, plastic gearing here. There it is. Okay, so now we're going to proceed for the dismantling of the armature. Okay. Okay, so since we already disconnected the, the mixing uh, mixer uh, impeller neck shop, long shop from the motor, we will going to start dismantling the uh, armature or the motor and uh, to show you what is inside the uh, uh, Robocop uh, mixer motor. I'm going to check the uh, carbon brush, stator, and also the armature. Okay. Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, we have to remove this locking screw here to disconnect the uh, pan blade so that we can access the inner port. How to remove it? We have to uh, clamp this using vice grip so that we can uh, hold and grip it to unscrew the Okay, so now it is well secured, we can uh, unscrew this uh, pan blade. Okay, so just for your information, the screw here is opposite thread. If you uh, turn it clockwise, it is uh, getting loose. If you turn it counterclockwise, it will be tight. Okay, so remember the screw here, the pan motor or back of the motor, it is opposite uh, thread. Clockwise means you are losing it, counterclockwise. That means you are tightening it. So uh, it's uh, not the same as the ordinary thread. Okay, the purpose of that is when it rotates, it will not get loose. Okay, so uh, we disconnected the screw here using our uh, vice grip, gripping on the shaft so that we could able to uh, unscrew or loosen the screw here. Okay. So next, we can access this by removing this panel cover by unlocking this screw here, the uh, pin lock. So it's only lock, uh, locking type. I'll show you how to remove it using a flat screwdriver or your test light. Then push the lock and it will, the cover will come out. Okay. Then here, you can see all the internal parts of the motor. So we have the stator. This is our stator. Okay. North and south pole. This is our uh, carbon brush. Okay. As you see here, this is the brush, uh, brush holder. This is the spring. I'm going to remove now the carbon brush to show you. Here. So this is the carbon brush. Okay, this is the carbon brush. And this is the armature. Okay. Commutator and the uh, armature winding. Okay, so the next thing we'll do now is we're going to remove this uh, sleeve cover or the external housing cover. So that we can uh, remove the carbon brush, remove the uh, carbon brush holder, and disconnect, uh, remove our armature. Which is, uh, as I said, the armature is shorted, that is why it is getting hot and overheated. Okay? 
Okay, so we are going to remove now the uh, external cover. Okay, simple as that. Just have, have to grip from outside and uh, uh, knock it down from the shafting here. The sleeve or the uh, external cover will easily slide out. Okay. Now the next thing we do is we will go into uh, remove the brush holder by removing the carbon brush. Okay. So first remove the brush holder brush spring. Disconnect the carbon brush. The same as the other side. Okay. And uh, then you can remove this uh, screw here torque screw so that we can uh, pull out the uh, brass holder and the bearing housing okay using torx uh, 20 okay this is torx uh, t20 we can unscrew this uh, securing uh, bolt or securing screws to open and access the armature. Okay, so make sure if it's getting loose, always make sure that the nut is uh, well secured in place because this is connected to this screw here. Okay, so uh, what happens is if you are only turning this and uh, the uh, nut goes out of the housing you cannot able to remove the screw properly okay We're done remove I'm going to remove the other side also Now we uh, managed uh, successfully remove two screws on both sides. So that means we can, uh, we can easily disconnect the uh, thrust holder. Okay, so the easiest way to remove this uh, brass holder is after unscrewing these two securing uh, screws, simply just uh, knock it down. The shafting here below, this shafting, just knock it down like this, okay, and you can manage now to remove the armature, okay. So as I said, this unit has a problem of overheating and uh, shorted. As you can see, that this uh, armature. Okay, it is already burned out. Okay, so this is already burned out. The winding of the this armature is already burned out. That is why it is overheating. As well as the stator or the pin coil. As you see here, it's already shorted. Okay, so notice here where I am pointing that the uh, stator coil is already shorted so in this case either you send it for rewinding or replace the uh, stator and the uh, armature but normally Robocop they are selling spare parts assembly of this motor then you can use the uh, other uh, accessories okay so I hope you uh, enjoy watching and uh, we will show you how to uh, reassemble and uh, by the way, you can easily also check this armature by uh, using a multimeter. Okay, check for uh, uh, short circuit or uh, short to body. So select ohms. 
Oke. Okay. Now we can check the uh, continuity from this two pole, two lead from stator. So they are uh, not open, they are uh, close contact, winding is uh, uh, not bad, but the thing is it's already shortened. So as you see here, resistance is uh, 2.5. It should be more. And the same thing to check for the armature. The armature you can check by using ohmmeter. Check the stator or the uh, commutator one by one. If you find big difference in resistance, that means it is shorted. Okay, so in this case, this is this uh, armature is already shorted. And uh, the other thing to consider is look at this uh, groove of the armature. This armature, the groove. You see here the groove is already deep okay so that means it's already worn out so that is why we uh, consider this uh, for replacement due to short uh, shorted winding and worn out armature okay so we will going to assemble this uh, with the other uh, spare unit or spare motor and we will show you how okay so the continue further I will show you uh, the uh, other motor which is uh, working properly compared to the burnout motor so as you see here the color of the coil it is still uh, clean and shiny whereby the other one is already burned out okay so we will go into assemble replacing uh, the uh, motor which we have from uh, another uh, unit okay so for further information we will going to compare uh, the, the good motor against the shorted motor in terms of uh, reading the resistance let me show you what uh, reading we get from uh, the faulty motor using uh, the ohmmeter we get the reading of 2.5 ohms Okay. and then here the good motor which is not shorted we get 3.0 uh, ohm okay so that means this is shorted that is why uh, the reading is uh, uh, wrong compared to the uh, proper motor which is uh, not shorted okay so we start now assembling Okay, so placing the uh, the screw, okay, on both sides. Easily, you can uh, align directly from the uh, mixer uh, housing, the front housing. You can connect this screw and this other screw direct here, so it will be easy for you to uh, match and uh, properly fix. So after aligning, make sure that uh, the uh, shaft, the armature shaft, is connected to the, uh, the impeller, the blade, by turning this blade below and checking if this is rotating. Okay. In this case, it is okay. And, uh, we are clear that uh, it is connected properly. When I turn the blade below, the armature rotates. Now it's time to connect the cover, but make sure uh, all the, uh, the carbon brush is set it properly along with the terminal wires. Okay, so now we'll fix the cover. Ok, 
Okay, the simple guide is, if you see here, okay, there is a slot here and there is another slot here. These are centering on the carbon brass holder. So make sure you center this to the carbon brass. Okay, make sure you center this on the carbon brass and insert. Okay, so it is clip. Removing it, you have to push this locking uh, groove here. At the same time, you have to push this as well if you want to remove. Okay, so now we fix it. You have to place back the fan blade. So this has been disconnected, and then we tighten the blade. As I said counterclockwise is uh, loosening I can remove from here huh? so I will edit on this Okay, so to tighten the blade, the blade, we have to secure the shafting again. Okay, and then counterclockwise. Clockwise means you are losing it. Counterclockwise is to to lock it. Okay, so it's done. Now we can assemble the other part. Okay, so since we already secured the uh, connection of the shafting from the armature, we will going to connect now the uh, handle, control handle. So there are four wires. This for the speed and this for the motor. Okay, so we are going to connect for the speed because this uh, particular model has uh, uh, variable speed selector so you can select from here low and high and uh, this we need to connect from here okay orange color to the armature If you want to remove this, you have to press the center uh, pin lock so that you can easily disconnect. This is a uh, heavy lock. And then the next one is you have to connect this one over here. Center the uh, bolt holes. Okay, to here. So that means we are okay to assemble. And the next step is we insert our uh, stem neck. Okay, so we put two markers showing that uh, these two. Uh, these two bolt hole for the thread they, they are going to be centered to here and make sure that uh, you connect the, uh, the shafting to the shaft okay. 
Okay, so we are going to assemble now. So as I said, bear in mind that there are two or four screwing thread here. So this needs to go in here. One in here, the other one is here. Okay, so we're going to center it. And also bear in mind that uh, the shafting has this uh, spline. So that spline needs to go in here properly, to sit there properly. Okay, so that thread, thread hole should be centered from this. So you can easily align it. Same here. That is your reference. This thread. That one. Okay. Now you can fix the cover. Then we're going to connect the, uh, the cables. This is for the uh, speed uh, control. for the supply line all our uh, connectors we are very secured and we go into assembly Connected here. Set it. Okay, done. Connected. Now we're going to check. Put the plug on. 
this here. Start. Okay. And then here the lock. Okay. So you have to press from here and then press the start and then lock. Then you're going to check the speed. Okay, done. So that's it. So did the repair for this Robocop MP50 Ultra. Thank you for watching our video and I hope uh, you learn how to repair, open and repair this uh, Robocook MT550. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share so that more and more people can learn from our videos. Thank you so much and God bless. Keep safe everyone. Remember, please like and subscribe.